Hi everyone, I am Lindsay and welcome to Inside the Hem where we dive into all things garment sewing with style and budget in mind. This holiday season, I'm bringing you 30 days of festive fashion sewing. Every day we will explore a new sewing project to inspire your holiday wardrobe, whether you're going for a cozy look, something chic, or even a little bit glam. Join me each day as we add a touch of handmade magic this season to your wardrobe. Let's dive into today's festive project. For day four, I chose a pleated skirt because it's a versatile piece that you can dress up or down. Paired with a close fitting top, this skirt will be the star of the show. We're gonna look at two styles today, casual and laid back and classic and traditional. The former will be great beyond the holiday season and the latter will be great for years and years to come. When you think about casual and laid back style, you're going for relaxed silhouettes that are practical for low key gatherings or family events. It's for those of y'all who typically wear jeans and layer a lot of your clothes. All right, for our casual look, I'm actually gonna start with the sewing pattern because I actually really love the styling that they did here. That is rare. I know normally the styling on sewing patterns is not it, but this one is, great. I think that that is the perfect little outfit for the holidays. So this is McCall's 8248. Um, it is a pleated school skirt that are in short, midi, and long lengths. They have a side zipper opening and optional top applied ribbon, which I think is like top stitched on. But we're going to go for view C, the midi length uh, skirt here. Obviously, these would be great for other seasons too but you can see they've used kind of like a flowy little fabric for that one. We get zero photos, but um, they used a great little um, flowy fabric. They uh, The pleats are sewn down and then it just opens up to this really pretty flow. And then it looks like kind of a deep hem. You could probably do something even smaller than that, but exactly how they've styled it here with a chunky sweater and um, boots that kind of get hidden into the skirt are still very, very much on trend. For the fabric recommendations on this pattern, they are recommending cotton blends, gabardine, crepes, and sateen. If we're going for this kind of lightweight situation here, you can definitely look into the rayons, um, rayon crepe, rayon poplin, you know, all of those there. I would like to see something with a little bit of meat to it, even though it's drapey. So not so much rayon chalet, but um, definitely in the heavier or, or I guess more stable, if you can even think of it that way, of all of the rayons would be really great. Also rayon blended, rayon blends would also be really, really good. Um, to make this pattern, you'll need a nine inch zipper and that's it because we're not adding the ribbon trim. Um, yardage wise, you'll need for the largest size, one and a half yards of fabric for the shorter one up to two and a quarter yards of fabric for the long one, a little bit of interfacing and that's it. We don't get any finished garment measurements on this one, at least not horizontally speaking, but you're going to fit this waistband to your body first using your waist measurement, maybe one inch of ease is all you'll need. And then you'll grade out to your hip from there. But remember, it's very, very generous at the hip. So you won't need to grade more than one size up. Even if your measurements tell you to, one size up should be plenty. Um, when I was looking for ready to wear inspiration for this one, this was the closest thing I could find. I was really looking for a specific colorway more so than the pleats. This is a accordion pleated fabric, which is different than what we're doing. Um, but you can get the overall vibe from it um, if you squint a little bit. But really what I wanted to call out was how pretty um, this colorway fabric was with the brown boots and a green sweater, green top, you know, anything like that for the holidays. There we go. Now you can see it all. Um, but if this had sleeves on it, this top had sleeves on it, you can see it would be a really great family hangout situation type of outfit, right? Okay, so fabric. I mean, pretty good, right? This is a rayon twill from Stylemaker Fabrics. This color is called Crimson and Evergreen, and it's a mottled floral. Mottled? Modeled? Mottled? meaning it's kind of like muddled, you know, it's kind of like, is it, isn't it? It's smudgy, you know, in all the right places. 
Um, it is 56 inches wide, 100% rayon, and in the twill weave, so it's going to give you a little bit more tooth um, to your skirt, a little bit more weight to it. So I thought that that was really beautiful for Christmas, for the holidays, because it brings in the red and the green, but not in your face holidays, right? You could totally wear this in the fall, you know, come the new year, and you would still look like a million bucks, but not like you walked out of Santa's workshop. For all of the classic and traditional dressers out there that like effortless outfits with enduring appeal, this pleated skirt will have you ready for anything. Okay, for the classic and traditional girl, I went to no further than Miss Kate Middleton, obviously, because she embodies classic and traditional like nobody else. So are you ready to see her skirt? Boom. It's in a tartan plaid, right? How perfect is that? This is identical to our sewing pattern. These might be a little bit longer than ours. I think ours only go, where is the picture? Ours, well, I don't know, it depends on, I can't see behind the belt, so I don't know how long they are, but yeah, it does look like a high hip situation here, um, which is the almost exact same as Kate's. Hers might be a little bit, a little bit longer. Um, but again, she's got the midi length with the boot kind of disappearing into the skirt close fitting little cardigan cardigans are having a big moment again they're coming back so grab all your cardigans um and wear it fully buttoned up nothing you know not two buttons like we used to do back in the day just fully fully buttoned up hers is uh, actually i don't know what hers is the closest thing i could find online to something you could buy similar to kate's was this house of brewer 100 pure new wool and then it's also fully lined probably because the wool can be a little bit itchy. So fabric wise, I actually had a really hard time finding 100% wool. Um, I ended up landing on this Scotland shop website where you can buy authentic Scottish wools in like clan, clan motifs. I don't know what the right word is, but it is a lightweight, pure wool tartan fabric woven in Scotland, just like our inspiration. I can see Kate wearing something woven in Scotland, right? Um, and it is eight ounces per square meter. So that is gonna give like a little bit more of the fluidity, a little bit more of the drape rather than something that is, you know, so, so, so heavy. Um, it is kind of pricey. So I priced it out at two yards because that was what the largest size needed. And it's coming to $115. So not cheap, but again, 100% wool, fully, made in scotland so it's kind of like authentic you know what i mean um but if you didn't want to go that route you could definitely just get the look of the skirt without the feel for the skirt and do something like in the rayon that we looked at before all the way up to polyester you could do a cotton blend you could do all kinds of things um just find a twill that you really love i chose one that had red and green in it but kate's is just white black and red and inspo here had some red and green and also blue in it too so just find a tartan plaid that you really love there really are a ton of plaid fabrics just not a lot of 100 percent wool fabrics so what do you think two pleated skirts from one pattern with two totally different styles thanks for joining me for today's festive fashion sewing project i hope it sparks some inspiration for your holiday sewing Links to the patterns and fabrics for both outfits are linked in the description box below. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on tomorrow's project where we'll be creating a timeless wrap dress that will stun this season. I can't wait to see you back here for more 30 days of festive fashion. Happy sewing!